G'day YouTube, JB from Oz here, and welcome to my old man's shop. Well, we were talking the other day about Emma Ritson's competition to win a set of Stan's, these Stan's grinding squares. And uh, I was telling Dad that the competition had entry had to be a tool that you make. And uh, he's made a few nice tools over the time. This one here is quite a nice one that uh, I thought we'd just give you a quick glance of. It's a radius turning tool, a uh, little bit like the ball turners a lot of people are doing, but this will do your radius from um, 5, 10 inches, that sort of stuff. It's got a hand wheel to wind your cut on, such that you can actually feed consistent rate across a radius. So quite a neat bit of gear. This is one of the first reasons Dad got his lathe, is because we wanted to face up some of these anvils for the English wheel which you can sort of see in the corner there. We wanted to get an English wheel so we could do some body work on one of the Austin Healy's that we have. And uh, as you know, one tool leads to the next tool and so on and so forth. One of the things we wanted to do is, this is a steam lathe, you know, Whitworth feet and inches and all that sort of stuff. So good range of threading if you're in the imperial side of things. But uh, being in Australia, we thought we want to be able to do some metric stuff as well. So we were trying to figure out how to get this old girl to thread in metric and I found a set of photographs based on a Monarch Tenor EE which was a set of change gears that we would be able to make, hopefully, so that we could do metric threading on this old lathe. Part of the gear is a 127 tooth, 72 tooth, 154 teeth, some fairly decent size wheels and so we've been trying to figure out how we might do these as a project along the way we thought about using a dividing head something like this old girl to be able to step a specific number of rotational or a number of teeth around a rotation um, that's possibly going to work for some of the smaller size but the 127 tooth gear had a bit stumped We've got a rotary table over here, so I thought maybe we might put a, an Arduino or some sort of electric control up to that and be able to rotate the gears. We've got a range of different stepping plates that um, potentially we might be able to find a 127 on. Um, but essentially we need to do a range, which if I find the document here, Is a 127 and then a 50, 55, a 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, um, a 48, 72, a 127, and I think there's an idler which, from my measurement, was 154 teeth, but I'm not 100% sure of it. So we kind of figured, you know, we could potentially do a um, a drawing, stick it on the back of the lathe and just manually step it across. I've seen some people do that with uh, microscopes and so forth. But um, recently we've managed to find ourselves a shaper. So we thought, why don't we do gears on the shaper? We spoke to a few people and said, what do you mean gears on a shaper? And um, I found a set of drawings with an explanation and some plans as to how to do exactly that. So that is our entry. We're going to make this attachment that fits onto the shaper. There's a wire driven wheel with pitch circle disc. There's an indexing tooth so that we can use a single form rack tooth tool, uh, which will drive across the gear. Um, as the machine indexes, it will roll the gear so you'll get a perfectly formed tooth then you just re-index, so you've got a toothed index wheel so that you can get your number of teeth around the rotation. So to generate the gears. Generate the gears. Yeah. Generate the gears, Jimmy! Here's a picture of what that kind of looks like as the cutter moves through the wheel and the wheel rotates. And essentially that's the goal with any of these is that the rack form is the infinite number of teeth version of any gear with the hypocyclic gears. 
Um, so, we've got a set of drawings. We've got three months. And we want to win a set of clamps. So really, Maestro, I think the first thing we need to do is um, wind that old lathe up. You know, it's a pretty old girl, 1956. Get it wind up. Yeah. We don't have all much. Okay, a bit faster. All right. So we've got the uh, the lathe wound up, ready to spin. We've got a video ready to go, and uh, let's win a competition. We reckon, boss. Sounds like a plan. Excellent.